thank you for joining with us on this Tuesday before Thanksgiving. And it may not feel like Thanksgiving weather-wise, but uh, it is Thanksgiving and we have a lot to be thankful for. Yes, now, do. something very interesting happened. We, we actually made this video on Saturday uh, before Thanksgiving week. In the afternoon, Dottie, you and I were down at the church walking yes. the commons, trying to you know get our exercise <laughs> yes. and keep our hearts healthy. Yes, yes. And you got off on one of these stories that you got off on many times. Dottie Soon loves again. to talk about things a long time ago. I do, and present and future, all of them. Uh, we'll leave it there. Okay. <laughs> okay. But you were telling this story about one winter. Uh, in Atlanta, Georgia. We, of course, lived in Texas, right. and your mother was uh, not doing well physically, and so you you flew home by yourself. I was not on the trip, and uh, you were going to go care about your mother, and you were telling about how cold it was there and about walking through the airport. Share with the people okay. the story. I, I loved living in Atlanta. I loved the cold weather, and so on this particular day, I had left my mother and I had, it was so cold, I had on my boots and a wool skirt and a wool sweater and a jacket and a scarf around my neck. And I had my purse and then I was taking two carry-ons. And as I was walking through the terminal, uh, I thought to my soul, I was going to suffocate. I was laden down with all this stuff. It was hot. And I just thought, what in the world? Didn't I check this luggage uh, when, we, when I checked into the airport? Why didn't I check the luggage? But nonetheless, in fact, people were, I looked so bad and, and I looked so distraught. People were walking by trying to help me. They said, could I help you? And I said, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm just fine. And so as I got onto the um, gate to get on the plane and I sat down and, and we were about to take off and I was just completely exhausted. And the thought came to myself. Dottie Redmond, you have done what so many times you do as a Christian. You carry everything on your shoulder, your burdens. You've just left your mother and you were just, oh my goodness, that was just killing you. And so I, all these things I just get to worry about. And I think we all do, Charles. I think that if we have a burden or a problem or a sickness or whatever, we carry it all. And Jesus is just saying... Give it to me and let me carry it for you. You know, Dottie shared that story today and I said, hey, Dottie, this would be a great Tuesday before Thanksgiving devotional. And it reminds me of that great verse in the book of Psalms. Mm -hmm. You may want to jot this down. It's in Psalm 55 in verse number 22. And Peter uh, kind of paraphrased, quotes this verse over in 1 Peter chapter 5. But in Psalm chapter 55, verse 22, the Bible says, cast your burden on the Lord. Yes. And he shall sustain you. Yes. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. And Daddy, you're right. Uh, you've done it. I've done it. We all do it. We, we many times we carry our burdens instead of just casting them on the Lord. That's the word Peter uses in First Peter chapter five. And that word casting it denotes the idea of like throwing a blanket on a horse. In other words, what we need to do, according to the Bible. We just take all of our cares, all of our burdens, and we just put them on God's back, and God takes care of them. And you know, Dottie... And one more thing. There's a song that says, Take your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. Wonderful. You know, <laughs> That's what we I don't know do. what you're thanking God for this Thanksgiving week, but on my list, and I encourage it to be your list as well, we thank God that in life, when we have burdens, cares, concerns, all these things that we have, the fact of the matter is we can cast them on God's shoulders and He will sustain us. I'm thankful for that. And I look forward to Thanksgiving Day. And Dottie and I will be doing the devotion on Thanksgiving oh. Day. And so if it's where you can, sometime Thanksgiving Day from noon on. Maybe you could pull it up and watch it. Have a great, great rest of this day. Have a great Thanksgiving week. Do everything you can to yes. avoid the virus. Yes. God bless. God bless.